seen anything without tears. Just what I was looking for. Anything without tears. I've got my copy. Get yours now. I love Universal Parenting. Welcome to this week's edition of Universal Parenting Clinic. On this show today, I'll be discussing the topic disciplinary measures and why it is important to apply proper and reasonable disciplinary measures in parenting. Don't underestimate the importance of parenting discipline in the life of your child. It is good to adopt proper and effective disciplinary measure in parenting because correction is very important to instill necessary discipline in children. As a matter of fact, many parents struggle on the issue of disciplinary measures nowadays and several parents are frustrated at the turn of events or reactions to disciplinary actions. Some are frustrated that the action is not yielding positive results or is making things worse. Some parents now find it easy to also use laws and rules from governments as a cheap excuse to avoid this parenting responsibility needed to bring up a child excellently well and morally upright. This gross failure in discharging this very crucial parenting responsibility properly and reasonably is the root cause of several failures in parenting and the numerous challenging behaviors in societies worldwide. Yes, there are rules and regulations, but this is not an acceptable excuse. You need to know and comply with set rules and regulation and still discipline your child reasonably within set rules. Yes, avoid child abuse and molestations. Don't apply unreasonable force or reckless measures on your child. The rules are made to remove every bit of child abuse, harshness, recklessness, and irresponsible actions against children, not to prevent reasonable disciplinary measures or to prevent you taking wise actions. Be guided by such rules related to punishments in your area. So, you don't act contrary to such rules, but don't abandon reasonable and appropriate disciplinary measures. When you observe the unacceptable level of moral decadence among youth and several adults worldwide, you will feel sorry for the products being introduced to the society daily. No wonder the world is in such pitiable mess and social disorder. For every child to fulfill its full potentials, there is need at one point or the other to discipline that child. There are a series of disciplinary actions and measures that dictate the purpose to be achieved and the measures to adopt in maintaining excellent moral discipline for your child. School, teachers, relations, and professional organizations may help to ensure your child is well disciplined within the allowable limits of the rules and may be taught to obey such rules. However, you need to accept this fact that the primary responsibility of ensuring your child is well behaved and well disciplined in life is your responsibility as a parent. So deal with it. It becomes more important now that several rules and measures have been put in place to prevent schools, teachers from most disciplinary measures in schools and public institutions. It is a shame if you as a parent cannot bring your child up morally disciplined, thereby forcing other children and adults and everyone to cope with the brutal realities of such an undisciplined child. A disciplinary measure doesn't have to be harsh or painful and should never inflict bodily injury or harm. Punitive actions may be in worse or actions, but one essential fact you need to know, however, 
is that the action must correspond and be relative to the age of the child. Be reasonable, positive, and commensurate to the action being corrected or prevented. And the lesson to be learned by such child from such disciplinary measure too. It should also be made clear to the child why he or she is being punished so as to be meaningful and to serve as future deterrent. In addition, you should be clear on what you aim to achieve with the type of disciplinary action chosen at every given time because there is no need trying to kill a mosquito with a gun or sledgehammer. When clapping your hands can do the magic. Remember, discipline is the act of teaching your child on set rules or standard, making a child conform to what attitude and behaviors are acceptable and making the child to reject those actions that are not acceptable. Disciplinary actions may be verbal or physical actions. In most cases, it is the physical action that has major restrictions by laws or set rules, but verbal actions may also be sanctioned depending on the action and the consequences. So, I will advise you to know the rules and keep within set rules or legislations uh, generally and specific to your location because there may be little variations sometimes. I will deal with the general disciplinary actions and also the physical punishment sections too. Let us examine the following general disciplinary actions that may take the form of both verbal and of physical. Are you ready to go with me? Let's start. The first one is the corrective disciplinary actions. The second one is the reactive disciplinary actions. The third one is the supportive disciplinary action. The fourth one is the educative disciplinary action. The fifth one is the preventive disciplinary actions. The sixth one is the natural disciplinary actions. The seventh one is the positive disciplinary actions. The eighth point is the proactive disciplinary actions. And the ninth one is the destructive disciplinary actions. Let's go over them one by one. I'll make it brief as well. Because I'm mindful of the time that we have to use on this topic. The first one is the corrective disciplinary actions. These are those steps or actions Taking to correct an action by a child, switching off the television set for a period and asking a child to go and wash the abandoned dishes is a form of disciplinary action to correct the bad attitude. So also is asking a little child to go to the naughty corner for a few minutes because of certain misbehavior. There are so many examples, but I would limit it to very few because of time. The second one is reactive disciplinary actions. These are actions taken by parents in reaction to certain actions of the children or a child, which is aimed at controlling or correcting such action or preventing negative occurrence of anticipated consequences of such action. In reaction to a child's bad school result, for instance, a parent may prohibit certain benefits or pleasures available to such child until he or she remains focused and more serious with his or her education. It may also be to remove things that are causing distractions. It may be in the form of preventing that child from interacting with some friends who are having negative impacts on his life. Such actions may also be corrective measures too. Now let's consider supportive disciplinary actions. These are actions that are taken to support a child. When you discover that your child is struggling with having enough sleep at night, 
either due to sleeping late as a result of messages coming to his phone or late calls from friends or being drawn to games at night by friends. Your decision to collect the phone from the child and setting usage of phone till certain time, for instance, up to 7.30 in the evening, will be a supportive disciplinary action taken to support the child's edge of education. You are not prohibited by any law from taking such actions. Another one is educative disciplinary actions. These are disciplinary actions taken by parents to educate their children on certain inherent consequences of which the child may be ignorant. This goes with verbal instructions and speeches most times too. Asking a child not to swear and certain measures like asking the child to stand up for five minutes for doing so is educative. So also are actions allowed for a child to see the imminent painful end of an action when no major harm will be done. Could be a way of educating that child to the potential danger in doing similar things in life, especially when you may not be available to support such child. Preventive disciplinary actions. These are actions taken by parents to prevent the occurrence of bad results from a likely action. Putting parental control measures and calls on televisions and mandatory phone checks by parents are actions to monitor and prevent visits to adult sites or bad social media sites that could corrupt that child or cause the child terrible consequences. Natural disciplinary actions are those actions which are the natural consequences of the performance of an act by a child and which will produce certain natural consequences that is allowed by you as a parent but which will teach the child not to do the same thing again or to know that such action is not good. If a child attempts to break an inexpensive toy, for instance, leaving him to do that will enable the child to know that such action is destructive. Your refusal to replace it is a further corrective action because missing playing with that toy for a brief period will teach the child not to break things in the future. And that will also prevent the child from destroying more expensive things in the future. Another one of such actions is the positive disciplinary actions. These are those actions which rewards a child for good performance. Giving verbal words of commendation or praise to a child or rewarding a child who has done well will motivate the child to perform better. Why other children who did not receive same commendation or reward will be motivated to perform well or emulate such good performance to receive similar commendation or rewards? Withholding the performance of same thing from the child or the other child for his failure to act positively as instructed, which caused his failure, is a positive measure to say to him. If you want this, you also need to do well. Penny without tears, just what I was looking for. Penny without tears. I've got my copy. Get yours now. I love universal parenting. Another one that should be considered is the proactive disciplinary actions. These are actions taken by parents to prohibit the occurrence of likely or foreseen consequences. Prohibiting a child from attending a night out with her friends because a notorious sexually corrupt person or a well-known person with drug abuse cases is attending such occasion may do not be appreciated by the child but may be reasonable to prevent her being exposed to certain temptations and risk of danger. Another one you need to consider is 
the destructive disciplinary actions. These are those actions which, though may be intended to achieve any of the listed purposes I have mentioned before, but could in the process cause more negative consequences to the child. It goes for actions taken wrongly or those done in essence. Another very important one that you need to also note very well is the destructive disciplinary actions. These are those actions which though may be intended to achieve any of the listed purposes that I have enumerated above, but which could in the process cause more negative consequences to the child. It goes for actions taken wrongly or those done in essence or those prompted by emotions or influence of drug or alcohol. This is a prohibited form of disciplinary measure and you should desist from such actions that could destroy your child physically, emotionally, mentally and psychologically. As a matter of fact, this is that particular one that has been the focus of most legislations. Please note this very carefully. The reason we have so much indiscipline among youths nowadays is due to so much indiscipline among parents themselves. The first step towards instilling discipline among children, therefore, is for you as a parent to be well disciplined because no one can give what he or she doesn't have. The first step towards being a leader is first to lead yourself. Be well disciplined as a parent and you will be well prepared with excellent platform to apply proper disciplinary measures to discipline your child. Be well disciplined as a parent and you will be well prepared with excellent platform to apply proper disciplinary measures to discipline your child. Don't forget, your child will either be your carbon copy, your true copy, your exact copy, your photocopy, or your real copy. Be a disciplined parent. Though there are a the few variations and exceptions, we are well disciplined parents have irresponsible and undisciplined children but in majority of cases like begat like as the saying goes if you want to be excellent in applying the disciplinary measures and to bring up disciplined children you must work towards attaining high degree of discipline yourself this will be well treated on the topic of self-discipline on this show. Due to feedback from some viewers and subscribers, we are trying very hard to reduce the much loaded topics weekly to the affordable minimum time without losing the value and relevant lessons they are in without extending any topic to another week. This we have maintained since the beginning. However, this topic is broad and despite avoiding comprehensive analysis and examples of this foundational part, I cannot go into the major section involving legislations and practical punishments plus real detailed analysis of the best disciplinary practices and approaches this week without it becoming too long. The major section of this topic will therefore be dealt with comprehensively next week. Be on the lookout. That is when we will actually deal with how and why and ways and process by which you can bring up your children in a well-disciplined manner. That's the show this week on Universal Parenting Clinic. I believe strongly that through this Universal Parenting Clinic and with proper understanding of the book Parenting Without Tears. Together, we all can promote wellness in families and in the world. We can stop the tears from children, parents and families. We can kick racism, fraud, incivility, 
corruption, wickedness, several additions, violence, and the series of antisocial behaviors out of all families and the whole world. And at the same time, we can promote all the positive desires and aspirations towards the well-being of the children, parents, and the world at large. T, I come your way again next week by God's grace. I am the parenting advocate in the house. Mike Benga Bibilari MGB Mr. Parenting Be a disciplinarian Discipline your child appropriately and apply the right and reasonable disciplinary measures at all times and bring up well-disciplined children Think parenting be positive in parenting. Talk parenting. Be passionate about parenting. Don't just be a parent. Stop portioning. Be a responsible parent. A real parent. A parent indeed. Parent where?